guys, I'm back with another video, finally after about like a year. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how I made this dumbbell rack that I have back here. I actually made it out of uh, old bed frames and uh, some old uh, pieces of square, uh, square tubing. I think it was one and a quarter inch square tubing, it might have been one and a half. But it holds all these dumbbells right here. I have 70, 60, 55, 35, 30. 25s and 20s and I still have more space down there yeah it took about three days to build well three days to finish I'd started it a long time ago I just never got to it but yeah I'd spray painted it black and yeah it really just helps out the home gym a lot so I guess in this video I'm going to show you the process I uh, took to make. guys so to start I had to cut out three pieces these three pieces were 24 inches long and they both had an angle on each end. The short angle was 33 degrees, the long angle was 37 degrees, and here I am cutting the three. Anyways, yeah, I cut those three out, then I cut out three long ones. Those three long ones had a 37 degree angle and another short angle that was, I believe it was 15 degrees. Yeah, so after you have those six cut out, you're going to want to cut out three more that are 21 inches long and that have a 33 degree angle and a 15 degree angle, I believe. It's either 15 or 10, which, yeah, I'll leave something in the description. I'll leave, I'll actually leave the entire blueprint in the description. But yeah, here I'm cutting the three that have, uh... A 15 degree angle and a 33 degree angle and yeah you should have nine total pieces by this point what I did next was I welded them all together like you see here I welded the long piece to the the long piece with the 33 degree, 33 degree angle to it and then I uh, welded the other I started out by uh, making a thin weld then I made a thicker weld and then I cleaned it up Next, I used the vise to uh, line them all up just to help me out a little bit because I didn't really uh, think of another way, but yeah, this is what I did. I put them on the vise and lined them up and then put clamps on it and then started with the thin weld, then moved on to a thicker weld. So here I am welding it. I believe, yeah, that's the thin weld. And uh, yeah, I did that on all on both sides then I moved it up like this and I welded between there and there and then I um, made sure to put the clamps on next yeah I got to welding welded that welded the angles and yeah you should be left with these three pieces and that's what they should look like and then I cut out these pieces of angle iron, aka the bed frames. We had, they were um, seven by three quarters of an inch, uh, and you're gonna want six of those. So there's five and six, and yeah, you're gonna want to measure three inches in from both sides, and that should give you your center. And here I am welding them on there. What I did was I tacked them on there, made sure it's what I wanted. So yeah, that's what you should be left with. Next, you're cutting out the pieces that'll hold it in the center. I cut these to 30 and three quarters, and I was gonna cut four of those out. So here I am cutting them out. There's one, two, three, and four. After that, I grinded down the bottom of it just so it helped me out. Whenever I put them on the ground, on the oh well, yeah, basically the ground. I uh, didn't have a good table, a good welding table, so I ended up doing all of this on the floor or on the ground. It was a uh, cement ground, but it was pretty straight. So I said, "Now eh, what the hell? It's only a home gym project." I mean, if it was a professional thing, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, I marked my lines. And then I uh, marked the lines on the bottom piece, then on the side piece, the long side piece, and then uh, go ahead and start welding. 
what I did was I used uh, two squares. This is my setup. I used one square on the outside to make sure it was straight. Then I used another square on the inside to make sure that was straight and square. Then what I did, I tacked it. And then I uh, made sure it's what I wanted. And then I went ahead and finished welding it. So here I am welding it. I added the other piece. Made sure that was square. Welded that. After that, I just welded the whole thing. I added the other piece, the third piece. When I was done, I added the two inside pieces that go between the long pieces. Then yeah, here I am welding it. You wanna weld all the way around. Once you're done, you wanna go ahead and clean it up with the grinder. I used a uh, wire brush wheel, finished it, cleaned the whole thing. And yeah, here I am cleaning it. After that, I cut out the bed frames that were going to be used to hold the dumbbells. So here I am cutting them. I believe I cut them to 65 inches. I, oh yeah, I did 65 and 3 quarters. And they were about, uh, I think the angle iron they used was 1 and 1 and a half inch. But yeah, then I clamped them on there and then I welded them on there. putting on my shirt then I welded it and once again once I was done welding it was time to clean up again but this time it's for good make sure you weld all the way around take off all the clamps clean it up and yeah it's time for spray paint what I did was I simply just spray painted it I went with black anti-rust spray paint that I picked up at Ace it was about six dollars and here is the final product Yeah guys, so now my dumbbell rack sits smoothly in the corner of my gym, and yeah, I'm also working on something else, so keep an eye out for what's coming next.